gonna turn it up a little. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up. Hello and welcome back to More To The Music with your host, Mr. Brown. Yes, that is I. And we have some amazing stories in, for in which, uh, first one I'm coming back to, yes, Sai. I'm talking about Sai again. You'd think I'd love this guy, I do love this guy, but right now you might not when I tell you what I've got to say. Uh, so basically in 2004, Sai did a performance somewhere, I don't know where it is, but that's not the main, that's not the main thing, it's not the main importance. Uh, but the whole gig, this whole performance was a song about killing Americans and yeah, he was smashing tanks, it was very, very anti-USA, anti-America. Sigh, why? Why were you doing this? Uh, so if you haven't seen the video, uh, check it out online if you can find it. Uh, it was a performance in 2004, and it's all in Korean again, obviously. And the lyrics were being translated, not by myself, but by others. And the lyrics basically were, kill those effing Yankees for torturing Iraqi captives, uh, kill them all painfully, including mothers, daughters, daughters-in-law and fathers. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so it was heavy stuff. Um, people have since spoke to his people, his management and agents, and they deny that the lyrics were anything along those lines. Although, Sai has apologised for the song. And, yeah, he's apologised just a couple of weeks ago. He's apologised for that song and the lyrics that, were, that he entailed. So I don't know where he was going with that, or what truth is what where. So I think someone's lying somewhere along the lines, basically. And do we forgive him now that he's apologised, or do you think he should be penalised? I'll leave it up to you guys. You send your comments in and let me know what you think. So that's Sai and his terrible anti-America song. Uh, next thing we'll talk about is Miley Cyrus. Uh, she, well, so basically, uh, Borgori. If you heard of Borgori, DJ, uh, Israeli DJ, amazing stuff. Now he was performing in LA and he says, I promised you a special guest and he started his track with uh, the new track that he's uh, come up with, Decisions, with Miley Cyrus, and boom, she comes on stage and they perform together. Uh, Miley Cyrus was dressed in a very, very risque punk type outfit, very, very risque stuff. Uh, he had strippers on stage and she was dancing with them on stage. It was an amazing performance. If you were there, it was brilliant. If you weren't, tough. Bad luck. You should have got tickets for that because it sounded like it was amazing. Uh, anyway, so Miley Cyrus has got an album coming out. She's got the likes of Frell on there, she's got Mac Miller on there, she's got all sorts happening. So if you've heard the album, or you've, you've heard sneaky tracks about it, uh, little sneak through tracks on the, on the internet, send them through to me. So that's Miley Cyrus performing uh, with Borgor, whatever his name is, that dude, the DJ, amazing stuff. So, Miley Cyrus and Borgor, eh? So, next thing I want to talk about is Justin Bieber. Now, at the Grammy Awards, he was not nominated for a single Thing. Nothing. He left empty-handed. Now, is this a sin that he left with nothing? Do you think Justin Bieber should at least got one award, maybe two, three, four, you know, I would expect for him to have left with, but he left with nothing. What happened there? And he's not bitter about it because when he was interviewed, uh, he said um, he doesn't need a Grammy to know that his believers love him and he loves you back. So he's not bothered about this. He knows his worth. So, But what do you think? Do you think that he deserved to win a Grammy or not? I don't know, I think possibly he did, he's a very talented guy, he's come out with a lot of hits and he's doing very well and he's, he's going to continue to do very well I would imagine. So you tell me your thoughts, what do you think, did he deserve an award? I think. Right, other thing we'll talk about, Taylor Swift's 23rd birthday plans, so she's going to be 23 on Thursday, uh, December 13th. So, send all your cards and your messages to her on that day, that's her birthday. But I want to talk about the way she's celebrating it. So what she's going to do is she's going to release her 23rd music video release, if that makes any sense, on that day for the song I Knew You Were Trouble. So it's a cool video, uh, it's, a, it's one of the tracks that is very different from her usual style. So if you haven't heard the song, go listen to it now, get it on Spotify, iTunes, or just listen to it on YouTube. That's probably the easiest. Uh, tell me what you think of the song, and tell me what you think of the video when it comes out on Thursday. And if you can, send your birthday messages to Taylor via here, and I'll personally call her up and tell her, because we're good friends, yeah. Anyway, so that is more to the music with Mr. Brown, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up a little. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up a little. You can dance.